good afternoon. Well, good morning, guys. This is uh, Joe and Kelly with Past Review Rentals. Um, you know, I think the last time we shared a video when we were down at the Myrtle Beach State Park saying that we were going to do some golf cart tours. Um, we're here at a, a little campground in, in Pendleton, not far from the house. We didn't bring the golf cart. So you're going to get a Jeep windshield tour. Um, but this is Clemson RV Park at the Grove. Um, they are in Pendleton, South Carolina. Um, we've shared a good bit of their stuff recently. Um, they're pretty new. I think they said this was their, going into their fourth year. Um, as you can see, this is right here at the entrance. Uh, we're coming in kind of from one of the rows, but um, it's a really nice place um, coming in. They have done some really good landscaping and um, the grass is nice and it's well manicured. The place is still uh, a bit under construction. I think they're going into phase three, um, which is down in the lower part, but I think because of the construction, um, there's some things that, some issues that they're still addressing, working on addressing, but their primary uh, market is tailgaters um, and Clemson games, from what they said. Um, the game game days they're pretty full um the rest of the time not so much and some of these camp campers i think they rent for the entire season um i think the entire football season is like 2600 bucks i'm sure it's on their website but um, which is pretty nice uh i think during home games they offer transportation to and from the stadium um and there's over 200 sites here. I don't know exactly the number. Um, a good majority of them are paved like these. It, I think they're gonna repave them because you can see, um, I don't know that they had uh, a thick enough asphalt, but also asphalt doesn't hold up very well um, with these really heavy rigs that come in. As you can see, um, some of these are probably 26,000 pound rigs. Um, so here's the dog park down here in the corner. Um, Kate Dog and Nico really enjoyed that. Uh, there were some deer out there one day, um, a couple of neighbor dogs playing, uh, which Kate Dog doesn't really care for. She just borked, but um, that's a pretty nice feature. And then we come around kind of the back side, and you can see where these big, heavy um, vehicles have come through construction and uh, whatnot and have kind of just chewed up the, the gravel. I mean, not the gravel, the asphalt. They've done a pretty good job of keeping it patched with gravel um, in the meantime. But if you look up um, to right in there, there's the entrance for, um, I think what they call phase three. And it's gonna have all concrete pads, um, a gazebo with a pool, um, it looks really nice, so you might be able to see uh, from here as we go. Um, there you can see the gazebo and the pool of the pool house. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be really nice. I think they're shooting for a, a finish in about three weeks. Um, here's our site, we're here. We're right across from the current pavilion, which uh, Friday night they had a live band out there. Um, pretty entertaining, pretty nice. Um, and then Saturday for the football game, it wasn't a home game, but they did televise it on the big big screen there. It's four TVs put together. Um, it's really cool. They did have some technical difficulties, but the owner said that they were going to replace them here shortly. Um, and I think he worked on it at halftime. The game was so bad, we went back to the camper and, and hung out there <laughs> for the rest of the game. But um, you can see coming around here, um, these are gravel sites. They're all full hookup. Um, and I think that they all have 50 amp and 30 amp, as well as sewer and uh, water hookup. So that's really nice. Um, a lot of people, uh, including myself, you know, have been always like, oh, I don't need full hookup, but it really is a nice luxury. And it's not expensive. What was it, 50, 59 a night? Um, so that may fluctuate. I don't know that I would necessarily quote me if you called a book a room, but. You know that's really reasonable uh, for full hookup sites um, the caveat to that is there's not a whole lot of um, 
amenities yet. Uh, like I said, they're building, so probably by the end of uh, football season this year, they'll have it really um, sorted out and looking pretty good here. Um, the You are pretty close to um, a couple boat ramps. Um, Lake Hartwell's not very far away. Um, I think, uh, what's um, the one off of 24 over in Anderson? So you're not very far from Anderson, not very far from 85. It's actually really good access um, from I-85. You just come down 76. Um, pretty big, big rig friendly. So, um, the only issues we've had uh, so far is their signs are very small. So coming in, when you get to Dalton Road, if you turn off uh, on the Vance Grove Road, um, there's a really small sign on the right, um, just past Dalton Road. It's not even before the road, it's just past it. So I actually went past it in the motorhome and had to find a church parking lot to turn around in. Um, so that's, you know, one thing that, that you know was a problem um, they do have these really nice little pet way stations all over the place in these big green areas um, it, you couldn't really see it today I think most people are moving out but um, there were kids playing riding scooters and riding bicycles and all that pretty much all weekend from sun up to sundown and even after dark they put out cones and um, kind of shut down the main road uh, so that they can play which is really nice you know there's another big green area up here that has some cornhole, um, like a tic-tac-toe type thing, which is really nice. And it's, you know, it's just a big green open area and, uh, you know, kids were out there playing wiffle ball and throwing footballs and stuff like that, which is pretty nice to see. Um, so, uh, just, we're here in, in Pendleton at the uh, RV, or the Clemson RV Park at the Grove. Um, you guys looking for a, a cool place to hang out and tailgate and avoid some of the Clemson uh, mess then come on out and check it out um, we may come back a couple times this season just to see how they progress and see what the the new areas look like and, and keep you guys updated but anyway uh, happy camping hope you guys have a, a good Labor Day